Hi everyone, Sarah here. Just wanted to share some cards with you for the Not Too Shabby Shop. Here's the information. I will have everything linked down below for you. Just remember to sign in to collect your reward points. For every 100 points, you get a $5 gift certificate. And you can use my coupon code Sarah10 for 10% off your order. Um, sorry about the glare. Um, it's nighttime, so I have to have my light on or else you guys can't see anything at all. <laughs> but uh, this will just be just this part. So I finished up some more fall cards with these stamped images that I had colored a couple weeks ago with the Copic markers. Um, again, if anyone didn't see, these are the colors that I used for the markers. You can pause it and take a look. Um, and I had colored them all in and then die cut them with the matching dies. This is the Jump for Joy from the Lawn Fawn new release. And then I also used the um, leafy tree backdrop in the landscape version for these cards. So just by itself to frame off the front of my cards. They turned out super cute. I'm so happy with them. I have four of them. They're the same except for the sentiments on the insides. So here they are. Um, basically what I did, I do show a process on how I did the background and layer them all together because I used a funky die in there and you'll see when you see the process video. So the frame is with a pattern paper that has a wood grain on it. I did add some white stitching with my white gel pen around the edges because it just seemed kind of plain. Um, I have textured paper so I didn't want to stamp a sentiment up here but if you didn't have texture paper, you could do that or you could add in a banner. I did add in some um, enamel dots with the, um, oh, what's it called? <laughs> Sorry guys. The Nouveau Crystal Drops. Um, these ones I had pre-made on one of my sheets, so I just put them in here and glued them down. So then the, um, pile of leaves and these leaves here are glued flat onto the paper and then the little owl, the hedgehog, and the um, fox holding the little rake here are put down with foam tape so that they're dimensional just to give it a little bit. And then on the inside I just have a stitched rectangle with the sentiment jump for joy or the other one is so thankful and that's from the same stamp set. So super cute. They're all the same, but just have their own little quirks to them. There you go. So again, um, if you want to see how I created my, um, my little landscape, because I don't have a landscape die, you can just stay tuned for the process portion of the video. Um, the coloring for these guys was on a different video, so I don't have that attached here, but you can take a look in back in my previous videos. So there you go. Please stay tuned. Okay, so I just want to show you the pieces I'm using to put this card together. I have my card base made out of craft um, and then I have a five and a half by four and a quarter piece of blue for my sky and I have my frame and this is the um, oh, I meant to have names out here for you guys. <laughs> leafy tree backdrop landscape version. So I use this die with a patterned paper that has wood grain on it to make my frame in my tree. Now the options for the ground here, um, it comes with this die that does kind of like a stitched hill, but it can also be the background of the tree. So like the leaves and stuff, or you can put it as like a little hill off to the corner over here. Uh, but because this one's landscape and I have a whole bunch of little images that I want to put in it, I wanted um, a ground going all the way across. Now the options that I have are these Lawn Fawn stitched hillside borders. So um, they basically go either up this side or up that side, like with a hill, or then these ones are like back and forth wiggly and I kind of wanted just the like one hill and I don't have a landscape die for that so I am improvising using these stitch speech bubbles from MFT dies so this one here has a nice swoop to it 
So basically what I've done is I've cut it out in my green cardstock. So I'm just going to show you. I'm going to glue it onto the blue paper. I'm just using my Scotch quick dry glue here. Just lining it up on the bottom of the blue. And just um, because I knew I was stacking these, I did just cut this slightly, like a very slightly smaller than four and quarter by five and a half. Just so I know that my blue edges aren't going to stick out around the frame. So then I'm taking the frame and I'm just adding a line of glue around the four edges. If I can stay on them. <laughs> And then just run it up the tree here just to help hold that in place and then you're just going to line up one of the sides and press it down see i kind of did it wonky so there's a little bit sticking out so easy enough to fix though i'm just going to take my scissors I know it's very picky <laughs> just this tiny blue edge that's sticking out here without cutting the wood frame and there's a little bit of green down here there we go so now it's perfect and then I'm going to ATG gun and go around the edges just do a couple across and then I'm going to take my card make sure I have my fold at the top and just line up the top corners and place it down you're gonna say hey that looks a little funky but don't you worry about it <laughs> so when we take our little um, colored images we're going to place them down here and this little owl is going to cover up the speech bubble part so you're not even gonna see it so then I'll just uh, place all my little images down on here and glue them all in and I have the insides already cut with the Lawn Fawn stitched rectangles and stamped with the sentiments. And I'm just going to glue them inside the cards. All right, so thank you for watching. Leave a comment, subscribe, and don't forget to visit the Not Too Shabby Shop. Have a great day. Thanks. Bye.